festival is today? You know, I don't have any plans. Okay, I'll call the rest of the guys up. Don't forget about tonight. Big bro, are you there? I'm gonna play at Monachan's house. I'll buy some trash bags on the way back. Dad said we'll be going to the fireworks show once he comes home. It's at night, so I have to go with Dad, but he said he'll try and come home for it. With Dad, so we'll see you there. Ooh, the crowd's pretty thin here. The riverbanks were packed. Surprised you found a quiet spot like this. Oh no, I knew about it. I pass by the mountainside a lot. Customers ask me about it too. I wonder if Nanako-chan will make it. I called and told her where we'd be before I left. Hey, where's Teddy? Not only was he hitting on girls non-stop, he accidentally put the moves on Hanako and she dragged him away. He ducked into his bear skin right away and acted like a bear, but he still got dragged off without a word. Whoa! Can we just leave him like that? Sure we can. His karma caught up to him. Aren't you being a little cold to Teddy today, Yosuke-senpai? When I think back to what he did this morning, no, I really don't. Truth be told, I wish I could send two or three more Hanukos at him. Dude, that would kill him. What happened anyway? I don't even want to remember it. He dug up some private stuff from my room and brought it to the Hanamura family breakfast. He was all like... Yosuke, what's this magazine about? Can you imagine the humiliation I went through because of him? It's your fault for having that stuff. It's not like I ever thought anyone would wave it around in front of my parents. Is this really what you want to be talking about with girls around? Huh? Is he not talking about his secret savings? Secret savings for a guy. Right. Let's just leave him be. <laughs> Teddy? What a tragedy. My lovely fur is completely ruined. That's... Okay, that's worse than I was expecting. Anyway, people are going to stare at you like that. Hurry and take it off. But I'm like a newborn child inside. Just like your magazine from this morning, Yosuke. Quit reopening this morning's wounds. There they are. Big bro! Hey, Nanako-chan! Looks like Dojima-san made it in time! Yeah, Dad came home early. Yep. Sorry if I made you nervous. I didn't quite finish my paperwork, but I figured a dachi could handle the rest. Hey there, little lady. Want to launch some fireworks of love with me? How do you do that? Well... Cut it out, Teddy! Do you want Dojima-san to haul you in? Things are heating up down there. Does that mean it'll be starting soon? Really? No, don't listen to him. <laughs> Messing with her, Teddy. Sometimes you're unbearable. Huh? Was that supposed to be a joke? <laughs> <laughs> oh, looks like this one's a doozy. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Ted, fire.
That concludes our program for the Summer Fireworks Festival. Thank you for coming, and all of us here in Inaba hope to see you again next year as well. Man, that was amazing! Totally worth coming out here for. Because you got to stuff your face, right? So what? You were all munching on snacks too! An extra large steak bowl doesn't qualify as a snack. Did you have fun, Nanako-chan? Mm -hmm. I'm sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not surprised. It's about time for you to be home in bed. I'll take Nanako back. Make sure you guys don't stay out too late, huh? Bye-bye, Nana-chan! Bye-bye. The fireworks were great, but I don't know, it just feels like summer's just about over. Why'd you have to bring that up? I'm all right with that. When I'm working, I have to wear fall clothes during the summer so I don't get a sense of the seasons changing. But this year, I went to the beach and saw some fireworks. I even got to wear a yukata out to the summer festival. The festival, huh? Well, thanks to a certain someone, I don't have anything but bitter memories of that. Really? That someone is you. Well, I had fun. Oh yeah, you were good at that candy cutting. Wait, that's not what I meant. I was expecting something more... more bittersweet and stuff. Right? You take the long view too much when it comes to this stuff. Are you going to throw away the only summer you'll ever get as a second year just because it's a little less annoying? Hey, that's mean. You make it sound like we're annoying. Annoying? Am I really? Oh, sheesh. Yukiko's freakout switch just kicked in. It's your fault for being so insensitive, Yosuke! Huh, yeah. This kind of thing really doesn't come up with guys. <sighs> Yosuke, you really do only think about girls, huh? Like you're any different. Oh yeah, should we have asked that kid to come with us today? What kid are you talking about? Uh, well... Oh, him. Yeah, I guess so. When you think about it, we were working on the same case in a way. Yeah, that's true. I mean, we might not ever see him again. I'd hate to leave it with him like that. I said some harsh things. You know? I remember him saying something that sounded pretty sad. Then again, I doubt he's the type who'd accept even if we had invited him out to see the fireworks. I wonder if he's not here anymore. He seemed to be busy, so maybe he's already working on another case in some faraway town. Huh. Sorry, I didn't mean to be a downer. There's no point in wondering what might have been. He was a pretty good-looking guy, too. He might have been a roadblock in... Uh, other ways. Yosuke! You really do only think about girls, huh? Shut up! You don't have to say it twice! <laughs>